Biscuit and we are playing Diablo 3. Right now we're still in Act 1 and we are doing Trailing the Coven. And I just want to point out, isn't this hat fabulous? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Okay, anyways. So, we are going to start playing now. Let's go! It is good to fight with you again. He's always enthusiastic to hang out with if me. only I could control this power could have saved him. Yeah, you could Do have. not blame yourself. <laughs> Magda is the one who must pay for Cain's death. Magda and her master Belial. The journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. No shit! I don't know if he's an angel or a man, but the sword will restore his memory. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. She can set all the traps she wants. It won't save her from me. I'm glad she's just so enthusiastic. Alright, where Don't are we you going? miss me? Just a little? Um, not really scoundrel, but thanks. Alright, we're gonna go to Wortham Chapel's that cellar, apparently. That is the closest place we've been. Yay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick up some gold and shiz because, yeah. I'm actually super poor right now. <laughs> I spent a ton of money on stuff so I could blacksmith stuff. Whatever. Anyways, it was pretty much worthless. Okay, not really, but sort of. I haven't crafted anything yet, and I I had like 30,000 coins and now I've got like 2,000. It's kind of sad. So anyways. I need to get more money. But um, yeah, so let's see where we're headed now. This is a matter of honor now. Is we it? must not hesitate. Yeah, so, fun. I've been hearing so many reviews on Diablo. And what's really funny is some of them are like the day it came out. And it's like they didn't actually play it, but they had all these complaints because of the server's issues. Which is fine, I understand. I was sort of ticked about it too, as was everybody. They should have been prepared for it, but they weren't. Anyway, so, all said and done, the game is what I expected. Honestly, I expected Diablo 2 with better graphics and, you know, different classes and stuff like that. And, you know, I wasn't really let down. Again, sorry about my chinchilla. He's running in his wheel. I can't just take it away. It's his exercise. <laughs> anyway, so, um, it is what I expected. But I think a lot of it has to do with, I think people were expecting something different altogether. My queen sings to me. Her music echoes from beyond. Is that so, dude? You're creepy as balls. Anyway, so... I think when people saw the CG animation, which was... Oh my god. Which was, you know, the opening to Diablo. So if you guys hadn't seen it, it's actually in my first episode um, of Diablo. Anyway, so... Oh, wow. People, of course saw the CG. Oh my god. Huge. Need more arcane power. I need healing. I don't have enough arcane power. Health returns. Oh god, okay. I guess I could have just walked around and picked up health gloves, couldn't have I? Anyway. <laughs> I didn't. But yeah, so everybody was seeing like the CG trailer and how awesome it was, and I think that they were expecting something similar. I, I guess I want to put it in coalition, coalition. and put it in the same sack as you know Mass Effect or Dragon Age. Very into it, very cinematic-y, very you know all that junk. And this game really is not that. And I think that's who were let down, I guess. 
they didn't do their homework and actually looked into it, they just saw, oh look, it's a CG trailer, this looks badass, instead of actually taking the time and looking into the actual game. Which makes sense, doesn't it? But a lot of people don't. No offense, but a lot of people are kind of stupid. But, um, this is exactly what I thought it would be, and, which is great. I like how it's different. Has caught himself something large to feast on. I need arcane power. Shit. I wonder what the spider caught. But anyway, so. Power. That's right, well worth it to hunt those guys down. <laughs> Was that a vampire vampiric shiv? That's hysterical. But yeah, so I think that a lot of people don't actually do their homework and look into games before they get them. They just look at the cinematic and quite frankly, cinematics are not even what the game is. Truth be told. You know, I mean a lot of them are, sure. But I, I never actually, I used to look at a, you know, a, uh, look at a trailer and decide if I want to get a game just by the trailer. And anymore you can't do that because they really do use the, the trailer to be more than, you know, what it is. Making them pretty, making them whatever. They spend more time on the trailer than they do the entire game. <laughs> Maybe not really, but you, I mean, you guys get what I'm saying. Because most of the people that are watching me are gamers, so they know what I'm talking about. It's not, you know, it's, it's different, that's all. Oh wow, okay. The bag's gonna be full here in a minute. Did you see those columns behind the webs? This place was built by ancient hands. Oh, was it? I'm glad that I have you with me, Templar. You're always so smart and knowledgeable. <laughs> But yeah, so, I don't know, I like Diablo, I think it's, I mean, it's different, but it gives you a story, and you get to loot, which is like my favorite thing to do, I love loot. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo, but I do, I love loot, I think loot is awesome, that's why I play most games. It's like, um, Age of Conan, I played that for almost five years, and... If it, if it wasn't for the loot, I wouldn't have stayed. I wouldn't have put in the hours. Watch this. Look, look, watch, watch. Look, look at that, watch. They get bigger, too, when you step on them, they make a funny noise. <laughs> I love it. This is so funny. Okay, let's check out our map here. Okay, let's not check out our map yet. Oh, gosh, no. You need to... Yeah. Alright. We are going, I guess. We'll keep going this way. Aren't you guys in love with the fact that I'm not clicking, like, obsessively still? I mean, I sort of am, but not really. <laughs> Ooh, health? This is telling me somebody means over here. Alright, we're gonna keep going this way. Oh my god! Did I ever mention I do have a huge dislike of spiders? I would rather have a mouse come into the house than a spider. As odd as that sounds. Get back here! Yay! That's right, you want to hunt these guys down. You want to kill them. 
They drop all sorts of good stuff. Okay. Oh, but it goes away. Do I want to go? I might want to go this way. Okay, so. Oh, I guess I really don't, but I got some stuff. Ah, oh, nor spiders to kill. <laughs> what I was talking about. I got so distracted by the loot. But anyways, I think I was talking about game and loots, and I wouldn't have stuck around if it wasn't for the loots. Loots, loots. I do. I like, I like loot. I will not lie about it. The only thing is that was different about me, I played for so many years, but I actually gave people a lot of loot. Like, things would drop, and I would give it to other people versus keeping it. I mean, or having the chance to even roll on it. I was really good about that, and that's because I, I want everybody to enjoy stuff, and I want everybody to get stuff. It's not fun if only one person gets shit. But then it also brings me to, I have, there's a lot of women s gamers suck. <laughs> Alright, not really. I'm, I want to put it a little differently. Women gamers suck to other women gamers. Not all of them. I don't want to say all of them because it's not true. I've actually met a ton of really amazingly nice chicks that I've gamed with. Them. And, you know, I, I meet more really amazing chicks all the time. But there is a certain kind of gal that I'm referring to. And I, I don't even know if they actually have a name, I guess. Uh, drama queens, I guess. <laughs> I love the smoosh smoosh. Um, Drama Queens, I guess, is the only thing that I can seriously come up with. Um, there was this... In many places. Gross. Demons, beasts, um, there was this one girl in particular hearts. that, um, caused a lot of issues, like, in my guild and stuff. I co-ran a guild for, um, four years. And it was a really great guild, and everybody was really friendly, but there was this one girl, um, one of the guys wanted Someone to bring in. Help me. Oh. I guess I'm not gonna help you. I tried clicking on you. Where's it not? Um, but this guy wanted to bring her into the guild, and we had other girls in the guild at the time, and we all got along really well. Um, you know, we worked well together and everything. And she came into the guild, and from day one, she was drama. It was, um, we went on a recipe hunt, I don't know if you guys even you guys don't really know you guys really wouldn't know, but, um, it's sort of like, uh, what you have in Diablo here, where you get these, uh, uh, weapon stuff from the blacksmith, and you craft it and stuff. It's sort of like that. But you get different recipes. Oh, shit. Anyways, you get different recipes, and you have to fight these bosses, and sometimes it takes hours, days, weeks of going back and trying to kill the same guy to get the thing that you want. Well, um, I don't know. It, it was one of the first things that she ever came on, and um, someone was running it, and I signed up, and it was like a sign up. So it's like, you know, if you sign up, you get in. If you didn't sign up, too bad. Well, she didn't sign up until the day of. Heal me. Oops. Look what happens. I talk and I die. Damn, I suck. <laughs> Anyways, so it was, uh, it was cool. I guess we'll go back that way. Whatever. So, um, she'd signed up that day. I'd already signed up, and she signed up actually on the same character that I was bringing. I was a bear shaman, which was my alchemist, so I was getting the recipe on her. And so I show up. She has already actually shown up. She formed up a group of her own, and they were in there. And so I was like, all right, well, I'll just let them do their thing. Well, the guy who was running the recipe run logged on. He invited me, invited everybody else, and then asked her if she was still going to come. And she said, yeah, and he told her that she couldn't bring the character that she signed up on because I was already bringing that class. So she actually threw this huge hissy fit about it. And um, so she started going around telling people that I stole recipes from her and stuff. And... Um, Anytime that I was online, she was, like, attacking me and talking about how my back and just being a seriously a big bitch. She's causing all sorts of drama and stuff, and she would say all these passive-aggressive stuff to me. So one day I stopped her, because I didn't realize that it was over a recipe. I actually, I had no idea, because she actually, like, raged and then logged off, and I was already, like, 
I had told the guy, you know what, I'll just switch if it's going to cause an issue. So I was going to let her come on hers. And, um, because I just wanted to hang out with my friends. That was, you know, it wasn't, recipes were kind of important, but not, like, the main reason that I played. I liked playing with my friends. Um, but she had logged off before I had a chance to tell her I was switching. And so... Weeks went by, and she's being this hussy to me. So I finally asked her, I was like, what is going on? You know, for one, I am an officer of the guild, so you have no right to treat me like that. You know, you're totally treading on thin ice here. And, you know, I just want to know what's going on so that maybe we can fix it. Because I am I am really a very good lucky person. I don't like drama. If it's something that I did, you know, I'd want to apologize. I, You know, I kept thinking that I did something, that, you know, awful to her. That I had no idea that I did because, I don't know, I'm re I like... I really think about other people's feelings and so I'm playing and you know I'm asking her like what did I do you know is there something that I did I, I'm really sorry if I did do something to you and you know and this went on for a while so um, she eventually got kicked out of our guild because she wouldn't stop attacking me all the time but then she'd go off and she was like bad mouthing me to other guilds saying that she got kicked from the guild because I, I was on a power trip and all this other stuff and I was like what and then we ended up moving to another server and um, because our server was sort of dead and we also didn't really want a PvP we were more of an RP PvE guild so we're doing our thing and um, this person came into the guild and I was like really nice to her and she, she wouldn't talk to me and I was like okay well maybe she's just shy well it turns out that this girl came from the other server and one you know came from the other server pretending to be someone else and joined our guild over there knowing full well that we had moved over there and it was so funny because then she wouldn't talk to me and then we f eventually she came out and told the guy who originally invited her that it was her so he came to me and asked if it was okay and i was like well if she's willing to you know not be a b-hole to me you know i'm willing to you know consider it um letting her stay i mean because i was you know co-runner of this guild so if she was going to be in it she had to treat me with respect so basically it just turned into her not speaking to me at all and other stuff which was fine I could totally deal with that but then it turned into her treating other people in the guild the way that she was treating me my mistress has accepted me come close and oh. feel her loving embrace oh oh well that's not the kind of loving embrace I want but um you know so then she started treating um some other people the way that she was treating me and I was like alright well this isn't you know this isn't gonna work well, I mean, treating me not the way she was currently, because she knew that she was on the nice with me, but the way that she had done to me before. So I kind of brought it up to her, and I was like, "Look, you need to, you need to chill. You know, figure out. You know, if you really want to be part of our guild, because if you do, you know, you oh, need to actually be part of our guild and hang out with us." And you know, she refused to hang out with us. She would go off and do stuff with other people, and I was like, "All right, well, fine." I'm glad that they oh. brought it together. I think he's hitting on me. I really do. You fight with Look both at this. honor and ferocity. I know that a he pure wants to soul see what pure soul I have. You. Ooh, we're going into the chamber of queen. Of the queen. Ooh. But anyway, so it turns out she ended up getting kicked from our, our guild again. And I ended up finding out that the people who I thought were my friends in the guild really weren't Please my friends at all. It's horrible. She sucks. I mean, some were, yeah, me. but others were not. In fact, they still play with her now, and I don't play anymore because of all of the drama. Oh, fuck me. believer in helping other people out and having a good time and if you're gonna be a bitch you know there's there's no room for you to hang out with me that's all there is to it i'm actually more picky about the chicks i hang out with than i am with dudes especially after that whole situation i mean it's just i don't know she caused so much stress on me just being in a game that i finally had to 
quit playing. Which was good, I actually realized that I put way too much stress on myself with that guild. I mean, making sure that they were all doing everything, and running everything, and it was awful. I mean, not that it was awful, I had a lot of fun, and I like, I like running things. I like, you know, being in charge, and helping people learn how to do stuff, and um, I sort of missed that. It was one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel, so that I could, you know, still do that part. But I realized um, something, like, I had to take a small break because I, I was homeschooling my daughter. Um, so I couldn't be up late anymore, I couldn't do all that stuff. And um, the guild actually died within a month. And it was like, oh look, you guys couldn't handle it without me, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I'll go mad. Holds that a silent All right, terror I gotta the drop some of this shit that I don't need. He died. He labored for weeks over a group of unusually large spiders, and many of his servants quietly disappeared okay. during this time. The largest creature led the others into the caves. None who have ventured there have returned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you are very welcome. She has big, big breasts. Those are like massive puppies. Look at those. <laughs> but yeah, so I basically learned in the long run that I was doing too much for everybody else and I didn't want to be around a bunch of um, drama loving skanks. It was terrible being stuck in there like that. Thank the gods you came along. You're welcome. What are you doing out here? I seek a man taken by the coven. The coven? I saw them dragging someone into Leoric's manor house. Perhaps it was the man you seek. Her breasts are distracting me. Those things are huge. There, I'm not proud of this, but I stole the staff of a powerful Khazra shaman. The Khazra went mad and chased me to the caves. You can find the staff in my cart in the highlands. If you take it to the Khazra barricade, perhaps they will let you pass. Awesome. Thank you, Chica Pop. 